After 68 days of radio silence, downbeat NASA scientists are looking for an opportunity to be cheerful. Wake me up a lively playlist blasting out from Mission Control as they look for signs of life from their sleeping rover. This mission uh, un, uh, is one in which people have made a very strong emotional attachment to the rover. Uh, so it's more than just a bucket of bolts. Um, we, we carry strong feelings, and so to go without hearing from it uh, is concerning. Engine start and lift off. Fired into space in 2003, Opportunity landed on Mars the next year. It was only supposed to work for 90 days, but for 14 years it's been transmitting, providing pictures of ice caps which hint at an ancient life. But on the 10th of June, Opportunity fell silent. Powered down after a huge dust storm blocked out the sun. Astronomers at the Royal Observatory say we should soon see if the rover has weathered the storm and the choice of songs. The dust clouds are beginning to settle and hopefully uh, before too long we'll get the first peep out of uh, opportunity and see if it's managed to survive. And is music going to really help? <laughs> More for morale than anything else. This is ground control to Major Tom. Singing spaceman Chris Hadfield agrees. It doesn't have ears, you know, it's not going to hear anything. But the ears are really back in mission control in Pasadena, California. And when I was living on board the space station on the two shuttle flights, they would wake us up with music in the morning. It was it was really important. And I know it means a lot to, to all the support crew who are trying to bring opportunity back to life. It could take months to hear anything back, until then, all eyes and ears will be focused on Mars. Martin Stew, News at 10.